Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a last chance try on haul. So I was actually in Scottsdale last week on vacation. Scottsdale is just such a fun city to visit. I have multiple vlogs and I'll have another vlog coming soon of that trip in particular. But one thing I had never done on any of my trips to Arizona is visit Last Chance. Last Chance is in Phoenix. If you're not familiar with Last Chance, it is a store in Phoenix, which is literally the Nordstrom's Last Chance. Everything that gets returned or is out of season or like doesn't sell at Nordstrom Rack goes to Last Chance. And I know this because I used to work at Nordstrom in college. So we went to Last Chance. We went right when they opened and it was crazy. If you're here just for the haul and the try on, let's get into that. And at the end, I'll talk a little bit more about what I thought of the store. And I'll also have some photos inserted from my Instagram. It's at Chelsea Pearl because I've already styled some of these pieces. First up, we have a vibrant orange tube top. The brand is Aster the Label and the size is medium. Given the current climate right now, fitting rooms are obviously not open. So I kind of just eyeballed this one. If you're new here, I also got reduction surgery about seven months ago. So I am having a lot of fun with my fashion these days because I'm getting to wear so many things that I couldn't wear before. Anyways, I'm gonna link that video series up above if you wanna learn more about that. But I haven't worn a medium in a very long time and this fits perfectly. It does have a second layer, you know, around the bust. So you have a little more coverage. It's not super duper thin. It's a great t-shirt material and it was $2.97. So awesome, really, really happy with that. And this is a brand they carry obviously at Nordstrom. I think they have it on Revolve and obviously it's not a current style so I can't link it, but I will link some similar options down below. So this was a huge win and something that I couldn't wait to wear right away while I was in Arizona. I like wearing this with high-waisted shorts. It's a great top to wear um, out at night, girls night out, date night. Might sound a little crazy, but yes, I got another tube top. This is from the brand Top Shop, and I got it in a size UK 12 US 8, and again, $2.97. And this one's a little bit different because it has a ribbed fabric. I remember when this was current in Top Shop, and it was on my wish list. I never ended up getting it, but I'm glad I have it now. Next up is a black bear. <laughs> Just kidding, it is a faux fur jacket. The brand is Rachel Parcel, you know, the blogger Pink Peonies, and she has a line at Nordstrom. This is in a size large, and it's this beautiful, cozy, cozy, soft, almost like faux suede interior black faux fur jacket. It has a double hook closure on the front, and when I tell you it's like the softest faux fur, it literally feels like rabbit fur, except it's faux. I love a high quality faux fur. And this was a great find. I got this obviously because I live in black all year long, but especially in the fall and the winter. Also, I have an outdoor wedding in the Midwest coming up this fall, and I thought this would be a great thing for the evening when it gets a little chilly. And the price was $29.97. The very last item is something that's gonna be extremely difficult to show, but Trust me when I say I saved the best for last. And this was something I saw another customer trying on and then she abandoned it. So I swept in and grabbed it for myself. Amazingly, this piece has really no fabric imperfections, which is kind of miraculous given that it's like faux fur, mesh, and like satin. This is like a floor length sheer mesh robe with a satin trim and faux fur trim. I honestly feel like a lingerie model fembot like vixen when I wear this and it's just super dramatic and it's one of those things that it's like completely ridiculous and something I can only wear at home but like I'm not even mad about it because this is just gorgeous and it's something that I've always wanted for a really long time but like I wasn't willing to like shell out a ton of money to buy. I know Agent Provocateur has a robe like this and it's I think a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars. I'm never willing to spend that much money on something I only occasionally wear. It just feels so silky and like slinky and I love it. I got this in a size medium large and the brand is In Bloom by Jean Key. Jean Quill? So the price on this was $18.97. So yes, definitely a much better price point for, you know, kind of a statement piece that you're gonna wear around the house. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna wear this on my Instagram eventually once I get the confidence to, but you guys will see in the cutaways how fun and flirty this is. That concludes so. the haul portion of this video. Let's talk a little bit about the store and what it's like, given that the fitting rooms are not open at the moment. Things like outerwear, shoes, those kind of things are easier to try on than like, tops. I kind of just eyeballed the tube tops given that I couldn't try them on and then if they didn't fit I'm gonna just sell them on Poshmark. The store was crazy. While they were limiting the amount of customers in the store at one given time it was kind of pandemonium in there. Everybody was like 
every man and woman for themselves, just grabbing whatever they could. And I had the feeling and the impression that a lot of people there were resellers, whether Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, any of those online marketplaces, people were grabbing things. As long as the brand was good and the price was low, arbitrary sizes, they would just grab and go and people were abandoning things around the store. Like I could overhear people, you know, tag teaming, like, okay, now we need to like whittle down our basket because like we've got like a lot going on. Other things that were heavily discounted, they had hunter boots, both the tall boots and the shorter boots. They had a lot of high-end footwear, Stuart Weitzman, Jeffrey Campbell, Donald Pliner, Bjorn, like all the footwear that I used to sell when I worked in the Nordstrom's shoe department, like the high quality brands, trust me, I know, they had them there. People do grab and like ditch as they go. So sometimes the sizes aren't in the right place. So even though like I'm a size large, extra large in tops, typically I would still flip through the small, extra small, just because people were abandoning pieces, you know, all over the store. Masks are obviously required, but it is kind of crazy in there. Like people were definitely not staying. <laughs> six feet apart. We went there right after opening. The store opened at nine and when we were driving up we could see like the queue of people going in the store but by the time we parked and walked over there was no queue to get in so it really seemed that most of the people shopping at Last Chance wanted to get that first pass at things once the doors open. Which also like leads me to believe that most of the people there are resellers. That a lot of people are resellers. Nothing wrong with that. I sell stuff on Poshmark too. Just, just know that <laughs> that's who you're competing with if you're just shopping for yourself. All in all, I think it's a really fun place to go to check out. Yes, you can use your Nordstrom card so you can get your Nordy Club points when you shop there and collect those Nordstrom notes and you can also redeem your Nordstrom notes there as well. It's definitely worth a trip if you like fashion and you like a good deal and I would definitely go back there on my next trip. So obviously since these are old styles, I'm going to link similar options I can find online down below if you're interested, you want to kind of like replicate any of the styles that I found. Follow me on Instagram and like to know it. I will also link those down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more hauls because I do try on hauls a lot more frequently these days. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.